uh, colleagues in government that have no interest or no respect for ordinary people. Fine Gael never had, and they never will. They're the party of the landed gentry and the big shots, and they always were. The money that, the, that we provided here for the Children's Referendum Commission, you took and you robbed it, you stole it. The carers in this country, they don't debate the house. The carers in this country, Minister, are doing valuable work. You promised us openness and transparency. You have been a, an abysmal failure in all those areas. You were able to go down last week to meet the homeless people. Did you have to wait till our unfortunate individual died last week on the street 50 yards from here? They know that it was a homeless problem. Would you call in the banks, Tisho? Would you rein in NAMA, Tisho, who are making people homeless? Mr. Howland said yesterday the Labour made two promises, the last, uh, last government came. They made 42, and they, they broke 42, and they told us they'd burn the bondholders, and they would, they would, the, the Labour's way, a Frankfurt's way. As I said, the bereavement grant, no restoration either. Two years ago, you taxed the hearse. I said last year you taxed the show, this year you didn't. But you, you, you nearly did, and would. Not the Labour Party that I knew, that was founded in my own town of Clonmel. People like George Grace, former Count Cola, and, and John Ryan North Tip. You have lost sight of the ordinary people. And I welcome, I give credit where credit is due. But the torture, the inhumanity, there's 90 names in this book of members of the government here that voted for the eviction bill. Why can't you be honest with the people that are waiting for four years for operation in pain, in agony? Why can't you put the money into the hospitals? Why can't you support the frontline nurses and doctors? You can run, but you can't hide. And the trolley count, why won't you deal with those and give those people medical care to need them without any duress and trauma? This is disgusting corruption that's going on in this country, and you should be ashamed of yourself. They're identifying properties. They won't sell them for the price they're getting from decent people who want to buy them. They'll keep them for their friends and contacts to sell them at knockdown price. It's stink and rotten to the core of what they own to all these families is disgusting, Tisha. And I'm very disappointed about that. I'm saying that we don't need the fat cats of Irish water. We don't need the people who are sometimes failed in the senior positions in public service to be rewarded again by getting bigger jobs than Irish water. And no accountability whatsoever. Accountable in my hat. Transparency and opens and accountability. I'm just saying the game is up. I want to empathise and try and uh, bring the messages that I'm getting in my clinics, that I'm getting in my office. You're all getting them from the RD people. I will be that strong voice for the people of Tipperary. If you give me your number one vote, and I will guarantee you that I will not let you down in raising your issues in Dolly and as strong and as forceful as I have done in the past. Other candidates may claim to be strong vice. They are missing when debates are on, they're missing when votes are on. I will be that vice, strong vice for all of you.